Hey, let's just be fully transparent. Am I beyond asking for money? Would I much rather you like, follow, subscribe, and comment on your own? Yes. Does it take funds to make these videos? Yes. So if you like what you see, I want to guilt trip you right now into supporting the art because this is a creative endeavor. And you can do so by following the links in my broadcast. If you're not following me on Facebook, then more than likely you're not seeing them unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm seeing in the comments. Go right ahead and do the following. Send funds, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. Straight up. Yo, salutations, everybody. Uh, how you guys doing today? I am blessed to be here. Thank you guys so much uh, for being part of my daily live broadcast. Um, I just want to go ahead and give you guys a rundown. I haven't talked to you guys since Friday of last week. Um, it's been a long time. Um, during the last couple of days, a lot of good things have happened. Um, but, um, just to begin with, I want to thank you guys, those who have made it through the weekend. Um, I'm blessed to be here with you guys on this, uh, beautiful president's day. Um, it was kind of unexpected. Found out Saturday, our daughter did not have school. And that's how we first were like, kind of notified that today was a holiday, um, but it's a beautiful holiday down here in the South in Alabama. Um, can't really complain about the weather. It's not warm enough to jump in the pool yet, but it's cool enough to sit outside on your back porch. So I said, why not? Let's go ahead and take the show outside. So that's exactly what I decided to do today. Um, this weekend, um, we had a blast. I did not go to Annex. I did not go to New Life this weekend. Instead, I went to Lounsboro First Missionary Baptist Church, um, presided over by Reverend Willie D. Lewis. And they had a program. And this program was a, a program slash building fund slash fundraiser slash fun activity for the whole family. Um, my mother-in-law, she asked me to help her with some tie-dye shirts. My wife had made some boards and the whole family got together and we did this wonderful uh, nine fruits of the spirit skit. Um, you know, the nine fruits are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Um, that was a message for my whole family later on that day. Um, but not going to go there. What I want to do with you guys right now is have you guys um, go ahead and take a look at the behind the scene video I'm about to present to you guys because it was so much fun doing this. So without further ado, let's get into the video.
God chosen, holy people, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and long suffering. Colossians 3 and 12. My brothers, how do we bear long suffering? How do we bear long suffering? By allowing the nine fruits of the Holy Spirit to operate in our lives. Amen. So we can endure long suffering. To the end, because only those who endure to the end shall be saved. Amen, amen. I might have jumped the gun, and I do apologize. Uh, but what I was trying to show you guys there was that my whole family got down, and we did the the nine fruits of the spirit. And my big brother he closed it out. There was a little portion between my father in law and my daughter where uh, the caption app kind of snipped it out. So I do apologize. You guys know me. This kind of just happened to me today. I was like, oh, let me go ahead and utilize this technology and let me take it to its full capabilities. So it was kind of cool, but we did a recap on the nine fruits, and there were nine families um, involved, and the fundraiser was just astronomical. Like, we were told to bring a donation, but some families were going to show out, and they showed out and. You know, shout out to Lonsboro First Missionary Baptist Church um, for having that. Um, the, the the mothers and their families, um, they just showed out. We had a wonderful time. But I really like the fact that behind the scenes, uh, my wife is a perfectionist, and I know where she gets it from. And we were trying to rehearse in the back of the church, and my daughter had passed the baton to me, and it was my turn to go ahead and say the line. And I'm like, I couldn't remember. What was the line we were supposed to say when we passed it to each other? So each time a person got it, we were supposed to say, how do you bear long suffering? Each person. So, okay, so the whole concept was my father-in-law started it off. And then he asked Madison, how do you bear long suffering? Madison passed it to me and I fumbled instantly. But the real the real handoff wasn't until the transition to me and my big brother. Um, I transitioned in and I pivoted to him and I couldn't remember to say, how do you bear long suffering? So I was like, brother, anonymous, uh, what did I end up saying? We can't recall. I should, I, I'm throwing my daughter on the spot right now. But I said something, but my big brother, he followed along. So everybody said, my brother, my brother, until my little brother got to his big sister. Then he said, my sister. But have you seen the end of that uh, skit? And everybody's blurred out because obviously that's what I decided to do, blur them out because um, I wanted you guys to just kind of, you know, get a vibe of what it was like without exposing people to the world. But he closed it out. Now, he's a professional. He's a teacher. But I could really tell from his cadence how he delivered that scripture. I, w I was really impressed. So that was uh, what we did over the weekend. That was kind of big. Um, it was cool because Cassidy wasn't there. But um, all of the shirts that you seen, they were done by me and Cassidy. And these were done a few years ago. And I got a little sentimental because obviously my oldest is not home, but uh, it was nice to include her in the performance. And um, those tie dye shirts were amazing. And with that being said, let me go ahead and bust move and get into this first commercial break. And I'll be back with you guys in a few minutes. Great up. Hey, let's just be fully transparent. Am I beyond asking for money? Would I much rather you like, follow, subscribe, and comment on your own? Yes. Does it take funds to make these videos? Yes. So if you like what you see, I want to guilt trip you right now into supporting the art because this is a creative endeavor. And you can do so by following the links in my broadcast. If you're not following me on Facebook, then more than likely you're not seeing them unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm seeing in the comments. Go right ahead and do the following. Send funds, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. Straight up. No, I'm joking. And we're back. 
Uh, thank you guys so much. So you guys know how I get down. Um, as always, my uh, second mother, she she hit me with uh, a verse today. I'm going to go ahead and share that with you guys right now. So without further ado, let's get into it. And today's word of the day from Mama Nisi is, the next day John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John chapter 1, verse 29. Out the NIV, baby. Straight up. All right, all right, all right. I guess we had some technical difficulties right there, but it's all good. As I said earlier, let's get into our daily bread. Straight up. And today's word of the day from Mama Nisi is, the next day John saw Jesus coming towards him and said, look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John chapter 1, verse 29. Out the NIV, baby. Straight up. And for today's daily bread, the scripture is Romans 12, 9 through 18. But I'm going to read Romans 12, verse 10. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. For love's sake. The marathon is about pursuing yourself physically and mentally. For one high school runner, however, competing in a cross-country race is all about pushing someone else in every practice and meet. 14-year-old Susan B. pushes older brother Jeffrey in his wheelchair. When Jeffrey was 22 months old, he went into cardiac arrest, leaving him with severe brain damage and cerebral palsy. Today, Susan sacrificed personal running goals so Jeffrey might compete with her. What love and sacrifice. The Apostle Paul had love and sacrifice in mind when he encouraged his readers to be devoted to one another. He knew that the believers in Rome were struggling with jealousy, anger, and sharp disagreements. So he encouraged them to let divine love rule their hearts. This kind of love rooted in Christ's love will fight for the highest possible good of others. It would be sincere and it would lead to generous sharing. Those who love this way are eager to consider others more worthy of honor than themselves. As believers in Jesus, we're running a race of love while helping others finish the race too. Though it can be difficult, it brings honor to Jesus. So, for love's sake, let's rely on him to empower us to love and serve others. Hey, let's just be fully transparent. Am I beyond asking for money? Would I much rather you like, follow, subscribe, and comment on your own? Yes. Does it take funds to make these videos? Yes. So if you like what you see, I want to guilt trip you right now into supporting the art because this is a creative endeavor. And you can do so by following the links in my broadcast. If you're not following me on Facebook, then more than likely you're not seeing them unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm seeing it in the comments. Go right ahead and do the following. Send funds, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. Straight up. Okay, we're back. We're back. We're back. So... Let's just go ahead and get down into it, right? Um, over the weekend, I purchased Hulu. Uh, well, it started because I wanted to watch Vice, and Vice went from HBO to uh, Showtime. Um, now it's like kind of sort of on Hulu. So I started off like, hey, you know, I, I always use my Apple TV to tell me like the top movies in the country or whatever, but. I decided to go on Hulu because Hulu has like some original content, just like all these other streaming devices. And what was that movie with Little Howie Rare that me, you, and Cassie had like? It was like uh, Friend Vacation or something like that. Fun Vacation. No, I think uh, yeah, I think it is. Yeah, but okay. So what me and my daughter trying to get at it was with John Cena and Little Howie Rare, and like it was hilarious, and we had really enjoyed it. Uh, not so much part two and. Yavon Ori, too. Let me not forget about her because she got a book I got to definitely check out. Um, but, like, Hulu got some really original stuff. And so we were, like, just surfing the web. Well, surf, searching, excuse me, Hulu. And my wife and my daughter and I, like, came across all these movies. And we started watching this one movie called The Drop. And The Drop was hilarious. And we're probably going to finish it up today. Um, but me and my daughter this morning... We were outside in the back, and what we were doing, we were watching White Man Can't Jump. And this is the 2023, and I was like, oh, yeah. 
I remember they were supposed to be making this movie. So, like, we decided to go ahead and turn it on. And I'm going to let the trailer speak for itself because, like, the trailer to me was just hilarious. So, let me go ahead and, um, goodness, I, I had it. But you know what? Just give me one second. Let me go ahead and share the screen. It was supposed to be sharing already, but I guess something stopped. So, we're sharing the screen. All right, and then it's always going to say something silly. So one moment, I'm back. Sorry for those technical difficulties. Um, all of this stuff was done, but then, like, the whole camera kind of dropped. So just one moment while I figure all this stuff out again. So here we go. Let's go ahead and um, expand the screen. I'm going to expand that for you guys. Let me go ahead and run that back. And let me get back here to the beginning because I want you guys to see this. Let me press pause. All right, we're going to get back to the very beginning of this. And let me go ahead and do, 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 do. Where are the people at? Where are the people? We're going to clip. Dang, it's win by two. Dang, it's win by two. Not here, it's not. Hey, they letting yoga instructors in the gym now. I just noticed you're not getting enough legs on every shot. Are you dehydrated? 100 bucks, you can't make more shots. Let's just do 300. It's not my dad's money. We ain't never going to get a reparations that way, bro. So I prefer Venmo or Zelle, but... You seem like a cash app guy, so. Hey, you think it's slick? Showing up to court dressed like a dumbass, acting like you can't hoop. You assumed I couldn't hoop because I'm white, which is incredibly outdated. No, I assumed you couldn't hoop because you were dressed like a white girl at Whole Foods. It's really hard to plan for the future when we're always worried about money because you're out here living in a fantasy. My 30-day detox program. You want a free sample? No, I ain't drinking no boo-boo juice. Wait, it's almost the first. I'm gonna go tomorrow, I forgot. Why don't you just go now? We'll be fine. Hey, don't worry, Mommy. Don't worry, Mommy. Every Hooper I know is entering that big-ass tournament with a winner get 500000 I just need somebody who can play so I can make some money. Be joking, right? 500000 for one day of hoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are right. We can hustle a few games together to get the money for the entry fee. I'll find some marks. Those short shorts look incredible on you. Throw them off their game. You have an OnlyFans? And we'll clean up. You gonna wear that trash bag? You gonna wear that fake-ass Richard Simmons outfit? No. I don't know, bro. I bet y'all got more in common than me, that I... Release for me. Release for me. That's the bad. I doubt that. It's enough jokes. Then the sun dies. Don't spend any of the money until we can cover the fee. I should be saying that to you. Well, I'm good with money. So am I. So am I. Me too. Me too. Where? Word, bro. If she can me, you. Double cup toast. Hey. Got a duffel. Full of hundreds. That'll love go. Buckets. What? Just wanted to see if you had superhuman hearing because of your... Because of my what? They're going to kill him in the parking lot. I'm out here. He got a flamethrower. Flamethrower? What is this, Mad Max? Five, four, three, two, I let one go. I don't know, bro. I don't know how much you talking trash played in today. But good work. Thank you. You could talk way more trash out there. You have so much material I can't even touch. Like what? Never mind. Tell us. Where the love go? It had the legend Lance Reddick in there. God rest his soul. I uh, put on a heck of a performance. Tiana Taylor, dude, she was phenomenal um, all the way through. Um, but the new people like Laura Harrier, Tatiana, uh, uh, excuse me if I didn't pronounce, uh, she was lovable and joy. Renzo, he was hilarious. And Vince Staples. In fact, Vince Staples has a show on Netflix that just got released. And based upon watching White Man Can't Jump, listen, I'm like a fan. And then even like Zach Steiner, he played uh, Philip Williamson. He was uh, like a Duke kind of character, played basketball. Um, he was dope. And then they got my dude from down in the Delta where the girls get Lord. You already know. But yeah, he was in there and um, I liked his character. It was nothing like how he portrays on the show. It was like, all in all, it was just like a real feel good movie. And the director or producer or writer, Kenya Bur Barris, um, I don't know if you know him from like Blackish and Black AF and several other joints. He did that joint with, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy and um, Jonah Hill last year and brought Lauren London into it. Like, all of that, like, to me, he's a fire director, producer, writer. The fact that I had no idea he was involved in this, it just speaks volumes of how dope this uh, production was. And then, like I said, it's on Hulu, so, you know, do yourself a favor and definitely go check it out. And um, excuse Poppy, because Poppy definitely wanted to get up in there. But here's my take, right? This is my thing, right? I don't know who makes all these scores, but it was rated 5.1 out of 10. And for me, this is easily better than the original. 
And the original was really, really good. Like, you know, I'm always looking for those films that had that that moment, right? That dramatic moment where it's the heart tugger and you're like, oh my God, how they're going to endure through this and you got to go through this. And um, shout out to my dude, Andrew Schultz. You know, of course, he's a, he's a, he's an icon to me. He played his role. I thought he was going to be like a, I thought he was going to be the villain of the, of the movie. And I thought I could see him and his character progressively being like a, a new type of uh, hipster thug slash, you know, I'm not going to spoil, but Andrew Schultz played his character, but I was surprised with how his uh, character um, went, the direction they took it, which was not a bad thing at all. So I'm not saying it like it's bad. I'm actually happy about it because I didn't want him to be a villain. It's like my, uh, what's our, what's our guy um, fresh off the boat? Um, Eddie Wong. Eddie Wong. I love Eddie Wong. And if you watch Aquaman part two, there was a part where I was like, no way Eddie Wong going to play the type of character. Like some people, he pulled it off, but you don't always got to go and play some different role. Like to me, I hope Jack Hero never tries to expand because the character he was, was great. And Saquon Walls, like Saquon Walls, please forgive me if I mispronounce your name. Like, dude, you were fantastic. Tiana Taylor, I mean, she come, she has come such a long way from what I thought. Like, when they were doing, like, MTV Sweet 16, like, I remember when she did that uh, Medea movie, Byron, Byron, Byron. I'm like, oh, my gosh. Like, her acting, like, I can see why she's going to be such a dope actress. No cap. I think I'm going to use that right. No cap. Um. Wesley and Woody Harrelson were not needed for this film. Like, they didn't even have to do a cameo. Like, uh, Mr. Reverend, God bless his soul, he he put on. I liked everything about this to the point I was like, I'm going to make a review video because in my mind, this movie is not a 5.1. Like, this movie is really a 10 out of 10. That's how good it is. I laughed. I enjoyed myself. It was not boring. Vince Staples. Uh, Rosano, and I'll probably mispronounce the name because I didn't practice this, obviously, before I did this live stream, but I had the characters in my mind. But everyone did a phenomenal job. There was not a bad moment. Even the gym guy, the gym manager, when he got on screen, he was hilarious. And then the cameo with Tyler Hero, that was dope as well. And the story behind it was that, you know, like, my man's had a deal was some internal stuff that he wasn't speaking on. And I think in the black community, that's like just big because you look at Jack's character, he's very much so himself. And then the stigma with a lot of black brothers is that we got to be all masculine. We can't express ourselves. And the more this guy just became himself, like there was a point in time like where it went from Henny to detox juice. And he's like, I like this and this meditation. And I'm like, yeah. And then, like, I was doing it on my wife earlier. I was like, babe. And she's just looking at me, but I, I just had to be my silly self because I'm like, yeah, that breathing exercise and taking the time out um, and meditating is part of, look, uh, the nine fruits of the spirit because self-control, peace, and patience, and kindness. And that's what happens when you take a time out. So, like, this movie was, like, a great way to start my uh, week off. And I, I definitely want to encourage you guys, if you guys have not seen the movie, to check it out. Like I said, hey, I signed up. I took the 30-day free pass, and I'm getting it in. And matter of fact, that movie, The Drop, I highly recommend because the concept behind that movie as well is hilarious. And the cat and the cast and the acting is superb, and I can't wait to finish it. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, Definitely check out, in my opinion, go check out um, White Man Can't Jump, the 2023 version. And I'll be right back. Hey, let's just be fully transparent. Am I beyond asking for money? Would I much rather you like, follow, subscribe, and comment on your own? Yes. Does it take funds to make these videos? Yes. So if you like what you see, I want to guilt trip you right now into supporting the art because this is a creative endeavor. And you can do so by following the links in my broadcast. If you're not following me on Facebook, then more than likely you're not seeing them unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm seeing it in the comments. Go right ahead and do the following.
Send funds, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. Straight up. So, so we're back, man. Thank you guys once again for being with me. I'm going to do something different than what I have been doing. Um, I don't know about you, but every morning I wake up and every night when I go to sleep, um, I indulge in a little TikTok. In fact, let me just go ahead and put it out there for you guys. If you guys got the opportunity and got the time, I want you guys definitely go check out and click on these links. We're going to start with my TikTok link because what I want to do is go ahead and give some of these creators a shout out because I feel like this. If the videos are that entertaining, then you share it because what do I profit for not sharing this information with other creators? Um, and while we're at it, make sure you guys go ahead and add me to your Instagram. I've been seeing the, the uh, uh, follows. I appreciate it. I definitely follow back. And then, of course, if you're on YouTube or Facebook, thank you. Here's the link to find me on Facebook. You guys can definitely find me on YouTube as well. And um, before I forget, definitely check out my uh, Amazon store, okay? Because there's a product in the video I want you guys to I want you guys to see. So there's a product in the video. And before I forget, you know, you guys can always throw some love, send me a cash app. I'm not asking for it, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it does help the cause. I look to go into this full time. But let me get back to White Man Can't Jump. There's a product in White Man Can't Jump that I've had forever. Well, just say it. You, you, you're talking. I can't hear you. 31 minutes on my broadcast? Okay, thank you. Madison is over here helping her dad out. But there's a new product that um, – it's a product I had before. And I'm going to highly recommend I'm going to show you guys on here. It's a massage gun, right? Um, Jack had a massage gun, right? And in a scene, I'm going to turn it on. Uh, because I told my wife just yesterday, while she's been having me do all this uh, this this uh, work trying to get the house together, I messed around. I'm old and my knee hurts, right? So Jack Harrell was doing like a massage treatment to himself. And I was like, I never thought about that before. But he literally took his device, which I'm turning on here, and he put it on his knee. So I was like, my knee hurt. And I want to go ahead and put this on my knee. And let me tell you what. OMG. It really felt good. I literally had Poppy in my lap giving my knee a massage and it just it did wonders. Wonderful things. So uh if you guys are interested, I strongly encourage you guys to go ahead and click on the massage gun link. Right now it's going for 40 bucks, usually 75. I spent 75 on mine a few years ago. Um it's in good shape. This is a, a dot corn. I know the one I sent you was like a Ray Corn or whatever, but that's the one they have available on Amazon. And like I said, I said, it just helps me because at the end of the day, this is what we do. But back to the purpose, right? So I'm sitting up here watching these videos and I say to myself, yo, Jay, you know what? Uh, be supportive. Do something for someone else like you would want someone to do for you. So I want to go ahead and give a shout out to these creators. And I want you guys to take a look at their videos. And I'll be right back. And if you don't like it, I understand you clicking off. But if you like it, uh, please look at their information, screenshot it, and go follow them. And let them know that I uh, sent you their way because I found their videos uh, really, really fascinating. Straight up. Secure men are starting to wake up and realize that they deserve better for themselves. They deserve happiness. And they deserve to have standards and boundaries too without being bashed by the opposite gender. They are waking up and a lot of y'all don't know how to sit with it. A lot of y'all don't like it. You say you want a good man, but you know what comes with a good man? Boundaries. Standards. Discipline. A man that's going to challenge you. But the issue is a lot of y'all don't want a position. You don't like it because it makes you uncomfortable. It disrupts your sense of normalcy. You're not used to a man telling you to level up. You're not used to a man correcting you or giving you some type of constructive criticism so that you can better yourself. You want a man that's going to be a pushover. A man that you can easily manipulate to your convenience. You want to live the soft life, the life of leisure to which you don't have to do anything. You don't have to grow because everything is just thrown at you. And secure grown men are waking up and realizing it's not going to work like this. No, this ain't going to fly. The men that y'all so badly wanted to grow up, they grown up. And y'all better be ready for it. Y'all better be ready to level up because they out here. Look within yourself and really ask yourself, is this what I really want in a man? Am I ready for this? And if not, Lord, prepare me so that I can receive this because maybe I don't know what I'm asking for. I'm over 30 and I'm starting not to like rap music. I was listening to some in the car the other day. I felt like my ears were bleeding. I'm over 30. 
I actually enjoy being alone now. I pay my family to leave the house. I see you later, babe. Tell your mom I said hi. I'll only be thinking of you. I'm over 30. Of course I don't help people move anymore. You better go hire them 20 year olds, especially if you only paying them pizza and beer. I'm over 30. Of course I don't care if I wasn't invited. More money in my pocket. I'm over 30. Of course I don't leave the house past eight o'clock anymore. Somebody better be dead or in jail. Let me get down to this hospital. I'm getting headaches every day to the point where ibuprofen doesn't even like help me anymore. Who? <laughs> the pill? Say it again. The name of the pill? Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> Did I make a mistake? Patiently waiting. Ibuprofen. Oh, I be a who? Who who are you being? <laughs> who are you supposed to be? No, that's how you spell it. Ibuprofen. Say it? Ibuprofen. That's ignorant. Ibuprofen? <laughs> who says that you're the right guy on the ibuprofen train? Uh, let's see. That one guy hits Earth! Everyone says <laughs> ibuprofen. No, no. You have ibuprofen? Ibuprofen. Say you it. don't be shit. It's <laughs> ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. No. But I don't understand that. Why do you skip letters? You're not even saying the right letter. The uh is the U. Uh. What letter sound does you make? So, uh, umbrella. No, ibuprofen. It was wrong. Oh, came at three degrees, doesn't know how to say anything. Oh, ibuprofen. You be a uh, dumbass. You be a uh, skinny boy. You be a uh, headache. Sir. That's why I've ever, I've ever gone to clinical virus services that they've <laughs> given me. <laughs> What? Clinical virus services. What is a clinical virus services? CVS. That's what CVS stands for. No, I just kind of made that up. Oh my God. <laughs> all right, all right. So I just want to give shout out to at the PSH8. They did the ibuprofen skit. That was hilarious. Uh, make sure you go follow them. Um, I love what... Um, uh, his daughter, Seven, did talking about men coming to their own and making boundaries. Says, okay, Madison, she's giving me the look. She's like, Dad, you got 20% battery on the camera, which is crazy because it's supposed to be charging right now. But, hey, it is what it is. And the last one, at first time father, um, I'm following him already. His stuff is pretty hilarious. You recording? Okay, pervy. So she's recording. So we're going to have these clips. So once again, the PSH8 at his daughter seven and uh, first time father. And I'll be right back after this commercial rolls. Hey, let's just be fully transparent. Am I beyond asking for money? Would I much rather you like, follow, subscribe, and comment on your own? Yes. Does it take funds to make these videos? Yes. So if you like what you see, I want to guilt trip you right now into supporting the art because this is a creative endeavor. And you can do so by following the links in my broadcast. If you're not following me on Facebook, then more than likely you're not seeing them unless you're on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm seeing in the comments. Go right ahead and do the following. Send funds, like, follow, comment, all that good stuff. Straight up. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, man, look, I want to thank you guys once again. Uh, for being part of my live broadcast, please click on the links. Please follow me. Um, remember, um, even though you heard some choice language, uh, the Bible says use wisdom, okay? So uh, don't be like, oh, he going back secular. No, I'm still devoted to the word. I'm still devoted to the Lord. I love God with all my heart. Um, but at the same time, we live in a world, and sometimes, because uh, I be prophets. Uh, she loves and lives by that product. Every time something happens, oh, you got to take four ibuprofen. But you know what? That's a that's a blessing to have her and offer that up. And um, if you see any video, tag me in the video. And if I like it, I promise you I would definitely share it. Um, and that's free of charge. I just like to promote good stuff. Um, definitely enjoyed everything about it. And now my daughter reminded me to remind you all that um, shout out to my niece for hooking me up with this i have a piece of watermelon um don't forget the special sauce so i'm about to get ready to indulge in my watermelon um are you recording i'm re <laughs> she's recording i'm about to indulge in my tamarind and watermelon this is something and you know they do the chili sauce too if you ever been in new york on a subway station or you ever been um in la what they do they cut the watermelon put them in slices put them in cup and they drizzle the chili sauce on it, and then they sprinkle the tamarind if you want it. And listen, I go to town with it all the time. But my niece recently came over, and I had a, I think it was a sumo or a navel orange. And she's like, 
hey, Uncle Jay, try it with the tamarind. Ever since I put it on the navel orange, it's been over with. That's all I do. This really amplifies the black experience and bringing it into 2024. But thank you guys once again for watching, supporting the broadcast. All the love is appreciated. With that being said, I have nothing more to do, nothing more to say other than what you guys already know what I'm going to do. Let's get down with the Lord's Prayer. Straight up. Our Father, which art in heaven, how be thy name, thy kingdom come. That will be done, that will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory forever. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for the nine fruits of the Spirit. I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to share this um, message with those who are watching my broadcast. May this message reach out and resonate with the person that so needs to be touched. Lord, continue to work on me. Continue to allow me to be a beacon of light and continue to help me in my time of need. And just like my wife said, Lord, I'm no longer praying for mountains. I'm praying for peace. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So uh, love you guys. Thank you guys for staying with me. Sorry for the interruption. It will happen from time to time as it did. But until the next broadcast, I'm going to finish this watermelon. And Mass is probably going to take a picture of me finishing this watermelon. And I will holler at you guys later. As always, straight up.